Well, that never happened. Did it not? <laughs> I would ask them. Yeah. You know, now, like I said, I didn't ask them right away. Right. You know, because you don't, you know, that's intimidating. But over time, uh, there was a writer in town, and his name was actually, and he's still in town, he's a great writer named Jimmy Stewart. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he wrote for, oh, I think the Music Mill. Uh, and I, he was a hit writer, and I just got the courage up to ask him. And I had asked 20 other hit writers, and they all said no. And Jimmy Stewart said, okay, Liz. But here's something really important. When I, whenever I got those appointments with a hit writer, I always made sure that I had a great idea for them. If I didn't have a great idea, I'd actually cancel the appointment. I'd tell them, look, you know, I, I don't have anything to, to, you know, knock your socks off, uh, but please give me another chance. When I have something, I'd love to do it. And, and they respected that because you can't go in there and look at a hit writer and go, so what do you, what do you got? <laughs> you know, they were nice enough to write with you. It is a, what's the word, hierarchy? Is that the mm -hmm. word? You know, at, at that point it shouldn't be, but it is. Yeah. Uh, so no, no hit writers approached me. I had to approach them. Right. Uh, I, I, it hurt my feelings. And, you know, secretly I was like, hmm. But you, could, you can't show it and you gotta get, o get over it quick. And, and just know people have lives, you know, that hit writer might be going through a divorce and, you know, you're the last thing on their mind right now, right. you know, and realize people have their lives and, I mean, there isn't one of those writers that I don't write with now. Mm -hmm. um, and it was never a, I never looked at it like, oh, I told you so. It was never that because maybe I didn't deserve to be, to, maybe I, maybe I wasn't good enough to be writing with them yet.